working with a local breeding center to help ensure the survival of the endangered spotted deer and helping a puppet theater promote environmental awareness, Christina is going wild over wildlife in Bacolod City. Kabalo ka nga, nagambal si ma'am sa amun bila sa klase nga, ang spotted deer, diri lang kuno makita sa Pilipinas. The spotted deer is one of the 15 wild animals found at the Negros Forests and Ecological Foundation or NEFEFI in Bacolod City, Negros Occidental. Negros Forest Ecological Foundation started in 1986 after Typhoon Nitang. Many of the concerned citizens started getting together saying, hey, we have to group together so that our voices can be heard. So that was the time we formed the Negros Forest Ecological Foundation the provincial government leased this land to us for one peso a year for 50 years. The DED saw us working here already. They found out that we probably needed technical help also, and that's when they offered Christina to volunteer with us. Christina Georgi is a wildlife veterinarian working with Nefefi to help upgrade its veterinary facilities. She is a consultant sent by the DED, or German Development Service, under the German-Philippine Development Cooperation Program. One of Christina's main responsibilities at Nefefi is to manage the captive breeding program of the spotted deer and the Visayan warty pig. When we look at this breeding center, we really should look at it as a genetic bank. We try to breed the species and we exchange animals, inclusive uh, with European and American zoos, making so that the population stays safe, at least in captivity. As a breeding center and a genetic bank, a large part of Nefefi's everyday operating costs is covered by funding from foreign zoos that Nefefi has supplied with spotted deers and warty pigs. Ronnie, one of the zookeepers who has been working with Nefefi for the last 15 years, was a former illegal logger. Sa ako lang ang illegal logger, a problem agad ka na. Kung tuwag nga, mas malaki yung kita mo, pero pag madisgasya ka or mahuli ka ng DINR, malaking problema sa pamilya mo dahil wala na magpapakain. Yung mga, pag start ng 1986, yung umakit yung ano, Negros Flores. Ayun, sumama ako sa kanila. Naging guide kami sa pagsorbe. Tapos, nag-ano sila, oh, sino sinyong gusto magtrabaho? Sino sinyong nakatapos sa pag-aaral? Siyempre, marami kami, mga 20 siguro kami. Ako lang isa yung ano, high school graduate. So, akong kinuha nila. Yun, pagsimula nun, pasalamat, pasalamat ako dahil hindi na ako nakapag, ano, pag-uling at saka pag-iligal laging. Specifically, this kind of owl, we know that they are they very hardly adapt in captivity. So, because it's an animal that was uh, rescued, donated now to the center, and looks in very good condition, we put it, uh, we will release it for the forest. So we get to know. Christina's commitment to these animals goes beyond her main duties in the breeding center. 
She is always ready to help smaller zoos like the West Negros College Echo Garden Mini Zoo, a shelter for rescued animals. If you watch, you watch. So we try to look for veterinarians. And luckily, wala talagang wildlife veterinarian dito. Kaya pumunta kami ng NFEFE and asked for technical support. And then we discuss some possibilities na pwede kami mag-work out together as a team. Yeah, they, they work with like a magic, no? The budget is very limited, but they do what, whatever is in the conditions of improving for the enclosures. So using cheap materials, recycling a lot of materials. So sometimes it doesn't look very nice, but under the, the conditions, I think they really do a very good job. I, I think here initially, the first thing is really like to put something to cover because if, if this pig would realize he could come out, so he's not coming out yet because uh, he did not realize yet that he could escape. Nagkaroon din kami ng zookeeper's workshop. Paano gagawin mo para ma-improve ang cages, ang food, paano pati yung management ng wildlife. Part of the zookeeper's workshop was food production for the bigger animals. This included the breeding of white mice, guinea pigs, and pigeons as they are the best source of protein for the larger animals. Here in the Philippines, we don't really get used to feeding guinea pigs. So they, they look so pets. cute, they're so difficult, yeah, no? difficult. But you always have to think in the other animals, they are very cute as well, and they are your priority, so, so. they are more important than the guinea pigs. Mm. You just don't look at them when you are feeding. Yes. <laughs> So the proud of Eco Garden. Bali ang naitulong talaga ng DED, siguro dalawang aspeto, no? Let's say, ang pinaka-importante, technical aspect sa management ng aming wildlife, veterinary improvement ng education component ng Eco Garden, and second, ang sa amin, the educational aspect, let's say, integration of environmental education sa curriculum. Promoting environmental awareness is the other key responsibility of Christina in her work for the DED. The educational system here is still very colonial. In the high school, in the preschool, we are speaking about elephants, about giraffes, about lions, but we are not speaking about the Visaya spotted deer, we are not speaking about the Tariktik horn bill. So we have very few initiatives where we really interact, where they really integrate the local problems with local solutions. Una-una, Git, nag-invite si Christina sa consultation meeting. Upod sa iba niya mga NGO. Tapos naka-attend ko to. Nag-istorya si Christina sa project sa puppet. No? Nga gamiton para sa education program. Out of this one workshop, the Animo Puppet Theater Group was born, composed solely of youth volunteers. Ang animo ni, ang iyas ni nga botsilingon, para sa ilunggo, ang animo, kamadmaran sa English, ang consciousness o conspirit. Ang kahal. 
kaharian sa kadagatan. Maayong aga sa inyong watanan. Ang aton nga pulong-pulong... All the puppets and sets used in the place are handmade by the volunteers. And all stories are written by the kids themselves. Kapag bumbo kami ng concept, yun brainstorming, and then after nga ma-create kami sang uh, isa ka storyline or isa ka outline, and then we integrate na dialogues and the proper script setting, and then yun na. Kamu nga mga tao, wala ka mo makahibalo. Kung ano na kalala, sa inyo ginahimo. To date, Animo has three original plays promoting environmental awareness. Napagahinulsulan ninyo initanan. Kung makita sila namon nga nalipay sila maglantaw sa namon show, nga kakinadlaw sila, di ba batsagan na namon nga sa namon tagipusuin, di ba batsagan namon nga Nalipay mga kami nga makita sila namun niya namian sila maglantaw sa ngamon show. They designed the puppet theater to be fully mobile, bringing along a generator so they can perform even in communities with no electricity. Uh, in this three years time that this project is running, this project became very, very strong and became, uh, got a very, very strong identity. So for us, it's, it's really a gift that uh, this uh, project is working in the way how it is. We should do it forever. Pagkatapos ng siyo, may discussion kami. Namangkot ko sa ila. O ano ang inyong intindihan sa siyo? From the child discovering her place in the environment to the grown-ups rediscovering theirs. Both younger and older generations can come together to preserve the environment. Then maybe one day, we can set all the birds free. Sa karagatan, singlaya ng pintig ng puso, singlaya ng pagdaloy ng dugo sa kaugatan. Buhay ay may saysay sa sang maliwanag kung may kasarinlan at kalayaan malayang